Hello everybody, my name is Melissa Tablada, if I don't know you already, and we're going to practice soul course. So, um, I, I can't see you guys and I don't know you, so I don't know if you've practiced soul core before or not, so I'm going to go over some of the basics. Um, so basically, we're going to be praying through the rosary and meditating on scripture and um, some we're going to be meditating today on the sorrowful mysteries. So we'll be meditating on different moments um, from scripture and from Jesus's life. And we're going to be exercising while we do that. So you don't need to have, like I said, you don't need to be holding your rosary. You're going to be using. Can, sorry, I see Christina is asking if you can hear me. Can you hear me? Can everybody hear me? Just want to make sure. I hear yes. You. Okay, perfect. Just wanted to check. Um, okay, so yes, we're going to be praying. Oh, if you have a rosary, um, you can keep your rosary on the edge of your mat just so it's near you, but you don't need to be holding it. You'll be using your hands for exercise. Um, let's see. So the main intention of our practice is prayer. Um, the movements and exercises are all an invitation to go deeper into our prayer by moving our bodies, but none of them are necessary. You're welcome to just sit on your mat and pray along with us. I always have people in my soul core classes who just are resting and praying with us, and that's okay. If anyone needs to make any modifications, you're welcome to do so. Um, I don't, obviously right now I can't see you. I'm not with you. I can't make corrections, but I don't do that in classes normally anyway. It's just up to you to know your body and honor your body and make the modifications that you need to. So if you need to use a chair for assistance, you are welcome to. Um, this is your practice and your prayer time with Jesus. So do what, what feels good to you. Um, the way that it'll work is I will pray the first half of every prayer out loud and then we'll all pray internally. So the, the whole time you guys won't be saying anything out loud, you'll be meditating on the words of the prayers in your mind internally as I speak them out loud. Um, and then I'll move you through by explaining the different exercises as we go. So one of the exercises that we'll come back to frequently, we'll do um, push-ups through each of the Our Fathers. So I'll show you three different ways to do those push-ups. So you can either do push-ups fully extended on your hands and on your feet, coming down and pushing back up. You can also do them on your knees, again, coming down and pushing back up. And then a third way to do these push-ups, if you need an extra modification, is coming upright on your knees, bringing your hands in front of your shoulders, coming out and bringing them back in, just using natural resistance, you can still get a really good workout, I promise. So you're welcome to do that. Another thing that we're going to come back to frequently is called surrender position. So this is a way that we put our bodies in a position that um, shows what we're doing internally with our spirit and surrendering to the Lord. So what that looks like is we'll come on our mats, bring our knees to either side of our mat, bring our hips back to our heels, extend our bodies forward, bring our palms facing upwards, and then we'll rest our forehead on the mat. So this is surrender position. We're gonna be here in the beginning during the Apostles' Creed, and then during each of the glory days, except for the last one, I will remind you when to come to them. Um, but it's also a good position to come to if you're feeling tired and you want to rest. Surrender is always a good one to come back to. For the Hail Marys, I'll walk you guys through which exercises we'll be doing for those. Okay, so we'll start off in any comfortable seated position on our mats. And we're going to open in prayer in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We'll just take a moment to silence our hearts and our minds and enter into this prayer space. You can take a couple of deep breaths. And we can offer this, this rosary, this time of prayer for a special intention. 
So think of something that you want to offer this time of prayer for. And you can hold that in your heart. As a soul for community, we are praying this week for all those who are on the front lines of COVID-19, for their health and safety and for their families, for all those who are affected, for all those who are still working to provide us with food and medical support and all of the necessities that we have. We pray for them and pray that God is with them. And for all the intentions that we hold in our heart, we lift them up to the Lord. We ask that he hear our prayers as we know that he always does. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of this time that we have to be together. Thank you for the gift of the ability to move our bodies and for the ability to meet you in prayer. Thank you for your presence here with us now. Help us to be growing in virtue through this practice and through this prayer time. And help us to um, always greet those around us with your love and mercy and compassion. We ask all of this in Jesus' name and through the intercession of our most beautiful Mother Mary. I invite you now to come to our surrender position. So we're going to come on our mats, knees wide, hips pushed back to our heels, arms outstretched and open. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. I invite you now to come into a push-up position wherever feels most comfortable for you, so whether on your feet, on your knees, or upright, I'm gonna be on my knees for right now. And just a reminder, um, you don't need to say anything out loud, just to be praying internally. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We're going to hold at the top in plank so you can either be on your knees or you can pop up to your feet holding at a plank for the next three Hail Marys for an increase in faith, hope, and love. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Coming back down to surrender position. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Coming up through our plank. Centering ourselves, squeezing our core in tight, we're gonna slowly lower all the way down to our mats. And we can just turn our heads to one side, closing our eyes and resting as I read through a meditation on the first sorrowful mystery, which is the agony in the garden. A virtue of this mystery is resignation to the will of God. In the Gospel of Matthew, it says, Then Jesus said, Come to me, all of you who are weary and carry heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. Let me teach you, because I am humble and gentle at heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy to bear, and the burden I give you is light. Bishop Robert Barron said, Are you totally given over to him under his lordship? 
I know that this is starting to sound oppressive, but remember, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. When we surrender to the path of love, which he had laid out for us, our lives become infinitely lighter, easier, and more joyful, for we are moving with divine purpose. Through this mystery of the agony in the garden, we pray for an increase in the virtue of resignation to the will of God. I invite you to come up into our push-up position. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. We're going to walk our hands back to our feet. And slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time, experiencing the miracle of our bodies. Standing tall on our mats. You can't see me totally, but it's okay. You just really need to see my, my lower half, what's happening. Um, bringing our feet about hip width apart, bringing our arms out in front of us with our palms facing upwards open to the Lord. We're going to come sitting back in a squat, making sure our knees don't go past our toes, and extending upwards. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Bringing our feet about mat width apart, and turning our toes slightly outwards. We're going to come down into a low squat, bringing our hands to center, and then we're going to do some cross punches to opposite sides. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Coming back up to standing, we're going to bring our right leg slightly behind us, bringing our left arm straight up, and then bringing our right knee to meet our left elbow in the center. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. And switching over to bringing our left leg back and our right arm up, meeting our knee and our elbow in the center, squeezing our core in tight. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Bringing our feet back to hip width apart bringing our arms out in front of us, coming back into our squats and extending. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Coming back up to standing, bringing our hands into prayer in the center. We're going to twist, keeping our hips facing forward, twisting our upper body, stretching towards the right, and then twisting towards the left. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Coming back to center, dropping our hands down to either side. We're going to lift our right leg. You can keep your toe down for extra support if you'd like, or you can lift it for an extra challenge. We're going to do one-legged squats. So coming down on our left leg, touching the mat, and coming back up. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Placing our right leg down, lifting our left leg, coming down on that right side, and extending. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Coming back up, placing our left foot down. Hands come back into prayer. In the center for stability, we're gonna kick our right leg back. So we're squeezing our core and our glutes in tight, taking our right leg back, and then our left leg. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. And bringing our feet back together towards the top of our mat, we're going to step back with our right foot into a lunge and come back up, just sticking with this right foot for now. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. And stopping at the top, switching over to our left foot, coming back up. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. And stopping at the top, gently rolling ourselves back down, walking back into plank, and then pushing back into our surrender position. Surrendering all that we have to the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Coming through our plank in the center, squeezing our core in tight. Slowly lowering all the way down to our mats. Prostrating ourselves before the Lord. Lifting and reaching our arms and our legs as we meditate on the virtue of resignation to the will of God. And resting down on our mats, you can turn your head to one side, close your eyes. The second sorrowful mystery is the scourging at the pillar. A virtue of this mystery is purity. 2 Corinthians 7, 1 says, Therefore, since we have these promises, dear friends, let us purify ourselves from everything that contaminates body and spirit, perfecting holiness out of reverence for God. The Catechism says that purity of heart enables us to see according to God and to accept others around us as our neighbors, our brothers and sisters in Christ. And it also says that purity lets us perceive the human body, ours and our neighbors, as a temple of the Holy Spirit, a manifestation of the divine beauty. Through this second sorrowful mystery of the scourging at the pillar, we pray for an increase in the virtue of purity. I invite you to come up into our push up position. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. We're going to come into a 
plank on our forearms. So you can either be, we'll be down on our elbows. You can either be on your feet or on your knees. And we're gonna tap one hip down on the left and then our right hip down. So we're gonna tap our hips down from side to side. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holding in our forearm plank, we're gonna use our toes or our knees to kind of push ourselves forward and then rock ourselves back. So we're coming forward and back in our plank, holding tight. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. And we're gonna push up, so again, either on your feet or on your knees, pushing up onto one hand and then the other, coming back down, starting with the opposite side, pushing up and continuing. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. And we're gonna turn over to, so on our left elbow, turning towards our right side, you can have your bottom knee down for support or up for an extra um, challenge. Lifting our right arm up above us and holding in the side plank. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Coming through our center, switching over to our left side. So facing our left, right arm down, left arm up. Holding in the side plane. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Coming into our center plank, and now we're going to be up on our hands with either our feet or on our knees. We're going to bring our right foot out to our right side, and then our left foot out to our left side, alternating. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Coming to our center, I'm gonna do these on my knees. You're welcome to do them on your feet. We're gonna bring out opposite arm and opposite leg, straight out and then switch over to the other side. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Coming back up to our feet, we're gonna step or jump our feet to our hands, bringing them back, and repeating, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Keeping our feet in the back, you can either do this on your feet or on your knees. Bringing our right knee in, under, and across to our left side and then our left knee in under into our right side. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. And we're gonna pop up onto our feet, bringing our glutes up in the air and feeling the stretch through the back of our legs. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. And 
and coming down, bringing our knees to our mat, pushing back into surrender position, palms open, resting down, surrendering ourselves, all that we are to the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Coming through our center plank, squeezing our core in tight, slowly lowering all the way down, lifting and reaching our arms and our legs as we meditate on the virtue of purity. And resting down. Feel free to have some water whenever you need it. The third sorrowful mystery is the crowning with thorns. A virtue of this mystery is moral courage. John 16, 33 says, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. The Catechism tells us that fortitude is the moral virtue that ensures firmness in difficulties and consistency in the pursuit of the good. It strengthens the resolve to resist temptations and to overcome obstacles in the moral life. The virtue of fortitude enables one to conquer fear, even fear of death, and to face trials and persecutions. It disposes one even to renounce and sacrifice his life in defense of a just cause. The Lord is my strength and my song, in the world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Through this third sorrowful mystery of the crowning with thorns, we pray for an increase in the virtue of moral courage. I invite you to come up into our push-up position. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Coming around, coming up and around into a seated position. We're going to bring our feet out in front of us. Let me spin my mat just a tiny bit so you can see me. So we're going to come bring our upper body, roll it down gently to your mats. And we're going to bring our legs up to 90 degrees, cross our feet over one another. Bring our arms back above our heads. Bring our arms up to touch our toes and back down. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. and bringing our feet down to the mat so they're planted, bringing our hands behind our head so that they're supporting our neck. We're going to cross crunch, so reaching towards our right side with our left elbow and then our left side with our right elbow. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Keeping our hands here, 
bringing our right leg out and our left knee in. We're gonna tap our right elbow to our left knee and then alternate sides. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. and bringing our feet down so that they're planted once more, releasing our hands from behind our head, bringing them to either side of our bodies. And we're gonna come side to side, tapping our fingers to our heels. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. and releasing, dropping our upper bodies down to our mats, bringing our hands so that they're underneath our glutes, raising up our legs so that they're straight up, gently lowering and lifting. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. and keeping them about a foot off the ground, kicking them as if we're swimming. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. And planting our feet back on our mat, bringing our upper bodies up about halfway. We can either keep our feet on our mat or we can lift them for an additional challenge, bringing our hands into prayer at the center, dropping our hands over to the left and then to the right, keeping our core squeezed in tight. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. bringing our hands out to either side of us so that they're open, gently rolling our upper bodies down, and then bringing our upper bodies back up all the way. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. And stopping when our upper body is down, planting our feet on the mat, planting our hands on our mat as well, resting our head down. We're gonna use our core and our glutes to lift our glutes all the way, squeezing them at the top and slowly lowering, repeating this. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. And gently rolling ourselves back up to seated, bringing our legs around behind us. And we're going to come back into our extended plank. We're going to hold in plank. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. And dropping our knees, pushing back into surrender position. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Coming through our plank just to center ourselves as we slowly lower all the way down to our mats, extending our arms and our legs out, lifting and reaching as we meditate on the virtue of moral courage. And rest.
The fourth sorrowful mystery is the carrying of the cross, and a virtue of this mystery is patience and adversity. In the Gospel of Luke, it says, Jesus said to his disciples, the Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed and on the third day be raised. Then he said to all, if anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. What profit is there for one to gain the whole world, yet lose or forfeit himself? St. Francis of Paola said, Fix your minds on the passion of our Lord Jesus Christ. Inflamed with love for us, he came down from heaven to redeem us. For our sake, he endured every torment of body and soul and shrank from no bodily pain. He himself gave us an example of perfect patience and love. We then are to be patient in adversity. Through this fourth sorrowful mystery of the carrying of the cross, we pray for an increase in the virtue of patience in adversity. I invite you to come up into our push-up position. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Lowering ourselves all the way down to our mat, with our legs extended out, we're going to reach our left arm out, roll on to the left side of our body. We're going to use our right hand for support in front of us. And we're just going to lift our right leg and lower and lift. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. And remaining here with our right leg lifted, we're gonna slowly circle it towards the front. Slow and controlled movements. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. And lowering our right leg, rolling onto our stomachs and then over to our right side, our right arm is extended out, left arm is here for support in front of us, lifting and lowering our top left leg. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. And raising our leg here slowly and controlled, circling it forwards. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. And lowering our top left leg, coming back into our center, using our hands to push up onto all fours. So we're on our hands and on our knees, taking our right knee, keeping it bent at this 90 degree angle, just taking it straight out to the side and back down, squeezing our core and our glutes in tight. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. and lowering our right leg, taking our left knee straight out to the side and back down. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. And lowering our left leg down, taking our right knee, again, keeping it at a 90 degree angle, and we're just gonna kick it straight back up behind us. Let me turn so that you can see what I'm doing. I'm just kicking my knee straight back. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. And lowering our knee to the mat, switching over to our left side, taking it back behind us and lowering. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. And lowering our left leg to the mat, bringing our left arm and our right leg both out, extending in either direction, bringing them to meet in the center, and then bringing them back out. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. And bringing that hand and knee down, extending opposite, left leg back, right arm forward, bringing them to meet, and extending. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. And our hand and knee coming back down, bringing our knees wide, pushing back into surrender position, palms facing upwards, forehead is resting on the mat. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Coming through our center plank, slowly lowering all the way down to our mats, prostrating ourselves before the Lord, lifting and reaching our arms and our legs as we meditate on the virtue of patience and adversity. And resting. The fifth sorrowful mystery is the crucifixion. A virtue of this mystery is perseverance. The Gospel of Luke, chapter 6, verse 27, starts off saying, But I tell you who hear me, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who mistreat you. If someone strikes you on one cheek, turn to him the other also. If someone takes your cloak, do not stop him from taking also your tunic. Give to everyone who asks of you, and if anyone takes what belongs to you, do not demand it back. Do to others as you would have them do to you. St. Cyprian of Carthage said, persevere in labors that lead to salvation. Always be busy in spiritual actions. In this way, no matter how often the enemy of our souls approaches, no matter how many times he may try to come near us, he'll find our hearts closed and armed against him. Through this fifth mystery, fifth sorrowful mystery of the crucifixion, we pray for an increase in the virtue of perseverance. I invite you to come up for our last set of push-ups. So always honoring our bodies, doing what feels best to you, but since this is our last set of push-ups, maybe you want to push yourself just a little bit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven.
coming around into a seated position, bringing our legs out in front of us. Reaching up overhead, keeping our backs straight and extending forward, feeling the stretch through the back of our legs. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Bringing our legs to either side of our mat, and extending forward. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Bringing our left foot in to meet our right leg and extending to stretch over to our right side. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Extending our left leg out, bringing our right foot in, stretching over to our left side. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Bringing our left foot in so that our feet are meeting in the middle, extending our backs straight up, and then extending forward so that we feel the stretch in our hip flexors. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. And extending our legs back out in front of us, we're going to um, gently roll ourselves all the way back down to our mat. I'm just going to move mine so that you can see me. Okay. So we're rolling ourselves down to our mats. Legs are extended out. We're going to lift our right leg straight up. Grab onto the back of our leg and just stretch it gently towards our body. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. And lowering our right leg down, lifting our left leg up, stretching it into our body. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Extending both legs straight up, bringing our arms back overhead, coming up, gently tapping our toes, lowering and tapping again. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Bringing our upper body down, Legs into a 90 degree angle, arms into a T or a cross. Dropping our knees over to our left side, turning to face the right side, feeling the stretch through this right side of our body. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Bringing our knees up through center. We're gonna drop them over to our right side, turn with our face to face the left side and feeling the stretch through this left side of our body. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Bringing our knees back up to center, bringing them into our chest, giving ourselves a nice big hug. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Extending our legs out in front of us, bringing our hands over our heart, 
Closing our eyes and just resting here on our mats. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. We're going to just take a moment to rest here. So bring your arms to either side of your body so that they're resting on the mat and your palms are facing upwards. And closing your eyes. We're just going to take a moment to enter into a moment with the Holy Spirit, resting with him, inviting God to speak to us directly through this time of prayer. Just take a moment of silence. When you're ready, you can keep your eyes closed, but just gently come back up to a comfortable seated position on your mats. And we can bring our hands into prayer. We thank you, Jesus, so very much for the gift of these sorrowful mysteries that you've so beautifully and graciously taught us. We ask you to help us to put these virtues into practice. We ask you to help us to see you in each and every day, to see you in each and every person that we interact with. Help us to grow in virtue and holiness. Help us to experience this Holy Week fully, without reservation. Help us to experience sorrow with you and joy with you and see that you are in the midst of this chaos and you are always here with us. We ask all of this through your most holy name and through the intercession of our most beautiful Mother Mary. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. Thank you guys for joining me for Soul Corps this evening in this beautiful Holy Week. Thank you for taking the time to honor your bodies and exercise and get in some movement and some prayer. And I hope you all have a beautiful week. I will be praying for all of you. And hopefully we can join together and practice Soul Core again soon. If you are, oh, thank you. Thank you guys. I see your comments. Um, if you're interested in learning more about Soul Core, um, the Soul Core Facebook page has a daily mini classes, so it'll be just one decade at 3 p.m. Eastern time, and then um, on Instagram, we're doing 9 a.m. each day this week. Oh, all the information's on the Morningstar website, perfect. So, Soul Core Project on Instagram, and then my Instagram is Melissa Grace Tablada. So, um, yeah, all the information can be found there and on the Morningstar website. Thank you guys for being here. And hi, Dan. Oh, so happy. Okay. All right. Have a great day, guys. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.